work at the Prison Policy Initiative in East Hampton, and we've got a project about FCC regulation of the prison phone industry. So like, I get unlimited long distance on my home phone. I got more minutes than I know what to do with on my cell phone. Calls for me are cheap. But if right. I accept a call from someone who's incarcerated, they can, I can have to pay up to a dollar a minute. This discourages people from staying in touch with their families, and the FCC is trying to decide what they want to do about this. And they've been collecting thousands and thousands of comments from 100,000 people around the country, and they're all posted on the FCC's website. It's not really possible to use that data. Right, and you don't really feel like waiting on the FCC necessarily. Is that kind of where Peter comes in and developers get things done quick? <laughs> uh, well, that's the goal. I mean, um, we've, we've got a pretty big development team here, and what we're trying to do is organize all of these thousands of documents together into a more useful database where people can do searches on it for specific keywords. You know, for instance, um, one, one interesting keyword might be family. Um, just trying to find interesting cases where uh, people aren't really as connected with their families as a result of this. Um, another aspect of it is trying to tag data in interesting ways. So we're trying to make the database more useful, kind of almost like what Wikipedia has going on, where people can draw relationships between what's already out there and make it useful for other people. A big part of working on a project with a bunch of other developers is you need to be on the same page going forward with your strategy and what tools you're going to use. So I found it better to just wait a little bit on that and work things out with my team as I went. So Peter, let me ask you, one of the challenges with quick coding is you could head off quickly in the wrong direction. How did you get across these developers? How did you guys get on the same page in terms of what you were going to try to accomplish in just a couple of days here? Um, the developers kind of coordinated that themselves. I don't quite understand how um, they did that. I noticed a lot of discussion about how they could each work in parallel without truly understanding what the other was doing, but yet come up with a way that they could um, be sure that they wouldn't con conflict. But I'll let you explain how you all did that. OK, sure. Well, initially on, on Saturday, yesterday morning, we all got together in a room, and we started looking at the data that was on the FCC website. And we were first just trying to understand how it was all organized. That in itself is a pretty big problem and has huge ramifications for how you design a useful database around that. Um, and you know, we, we asked Peter here questions as we went along because he's sort of familiar with the nomenclature in the field. And you know, we were looking at RSS feeds, trying to extract in interesting data from that, and downloading documents, just seeing what we could pick out. Um, yeah. And from there, we, we came up with a pretty good database design. and. Um, we were able to divide the labor from there because we had a common basis for going forward. We're trying to get all of the information um, scanned. and uh, Right now, the documents are in PDF format, and they're not really all that useful as is because you can't just search a PDF for a particular keyword. So we have right. to run it through and process all these PDFs, and then from there, we're going to be able to do searches and hopefully get to the point where we can do some of that tagging I talked about. Gotcha. So will you take this forward from this weekend? Yeah, this is going to be a whole new tool for the movement that's trying to get the FCC to regulate this. We'll have a whole new tool that we can use to organize the FCC and to organize the public. So this is really kind of empowering to a lot of people. So you'll be able to take this both to the public and the FCC and say, this is a better way of accessing this data? If the FCC wants to take this code and like improve their website, yeah. that would be awesome. I'm sure you would not <laughs> object. Um, so you're going to make the code available then? Oh, absolutely. It's okay. actually available as we're working okay. it's on GitHub. OK. So f f fast forward like a, a, a year from now. Give me your best case scenario on where, what would be happening a year from now with all this. Well, the FCC, um, the public engages this data, and they convince the FCC that the FCC needs to regulate the cost of a, um, a call home from prison. Yep. And then as a side benefit, if the FCC fixes their website, that's totally cool, too. <laughs>